Hi, if you could just start by giving us your name and your surgery type and surgery date. Okay, uh, my name is Winnie Miller and I had Ruin Y in 2008. Oh. And uh, when you were heavier, what was the worst part about being overweight? Not being able to fit into an airplane seat. Um, thinking that everybody was looking down at me. Mm -hmm. And um, that's about not being able to walk good. So, yeah. How did you first find out about bariatric surgery and what were your initial impressions of it? Um, I was scared of it mm -hmm. because everybody I knew, it all, they all gained their weight back. Yeah. And I was kind of afraid. Mm -hmm. But then I agonized over it for a long time and I finally decided to make the decision. And when I did, my, my doctor, he said, oh, I'll get the information from you. And I swear that when he left the room, he clicked his heels. He was so happy for oh, me. Wow. And what was, was there like a, a moment that made, that helped you make that final decision to have it? Like did something happen in your life or? Um, well, I needed to have my knees done, so I went to the doctor mm -hmm. and he said, I have good news and bad news. He said, the good news is I can, uh, you can have your knee taken care of with surgery, it'll be okay. Yeah. And I said, well, what's the bad news? And he said, you're too fat. And that's what did it. Yeah. And how did you decide on which procedure to have? And how did you select your surgeon? Well, I went through um, Kaiser. Mm -hmm. and, and because of my age, because I was 69, um, and I didn't, uh, I was kind of afraid that they weren't going to do it. but. Pacific Bariatric um, did Kaiser's um, what heavy cases or cru yeah, crucial high risk cases. cases, yeah, yeah high risk cases, mm -hmm. and so um, they did it, and I just got the luck of the draw. I got Dr. Rumsey, and he was wonderful, and I talked with him briefly about um, having lap band, and he said, "No, you need to sleep. You yeah. need to have." ruined way. Yeah. So that's what I did. Um, in the weeks after you had surgery, how did you feel and did you experience any, any anxiety or how did you cope? Uh, like, afterwards? Yeah, after surgery. No. I was, I got out of the hospital, I had my surgery on Tuesday, got out of the hospital Friday, Friday night I was pushing a cart through Walmart. Oh, wow. So. <laughs> <laughs> but that's I a different answer than some of the younger people have said. <laughs> But Honestly. I get the, I, I got the, um, you know, I got the exercise. And, yeah. Um, the hardest, some of the hardest things were trying to get all the, all the stuff down that you're supposed to do, and yeah. you, you don't have very much of a stomach. So, yeah. Um, but I ate a lot of popsicles and. Yeah. And uh, what fears did you have about possible complications or dying from the surgery? And if other people maybe are out there on the fence about surgery, what would you tell them about how to deal with those fears or if those are you know, rational fears? Um, it, it, it um, yeah, I, I wouldn't worry about it at all because it was a real easy thing. Mm -hmm. And um, you went through, um, I don't know, it, it, there was no pain involved and I, you just, I just got up and walked, they got you up the first yeah. day mm -hmm. and you walked, I got up every two hours and walked around the uh, ward and that was it. Um, what aftercare or support groups did you have and specifically maybe obesity health, how did that play a role in your um, journey after, and well, yeah, after weight loss surgery? Um, I had my surgery in July, and then I believe in October, I went to my, no, because I went to a reunion for, but it was in the spring that I went to the first uh, 
OH uh, conference, mm -hmm. and that was in downtown downtown LA. Okay. And I have been going to support groups since January before my surgery. Oh yeah. So I really believe in support uh, mm -hmm. groups, and uh, I now run the one in Hammett. Oh, nice. Uh, so, but I, you know, you have to be accountable to somebody. Yes. And that support groups are wonderful for that. Um, what were the, I guess, one of the worst parts of the bariatric process and what was the best part of the process? Um, the first time, first time you have one bite more than you're supposed oh, to. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it's, oh my goodness, what have I done? Yeah. That one second can last hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then <clears throat> the best part is just like shedding clothes. Every yeah. week it seemed like I was going down because I'm so short. Short, yeah. Yeah. And, and it was like every week I was going down a size. So that was, that was fun. Um, do you notice people treat you differently now? Yeah, when you meet strangers, they don't kind of judge you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, and and the people that I knew, everyone, mm -hmm. everyone was supportive. I live in a, yeah. in a community, a uh, mobile home community. We have 700 units, so it's like living in a small yeah. town. And everybody was very supportive. Were you able to have your knees done? Or after losing weight, did you still need them done? Oh, I still, still need them. I thought, yeah. oh boy, this is going to be good. <laughs> but I had lived with my bad knees yes. for so long. And I was. And between the surgery and uh, having both knees done, I'm 75 now. And I believe I'm going to live a good long life because it, yeah. it just gave me a whole new lease on life. I feel good. What things do you most enjoy doing now that you weren't able to do before? Um, walking, um, being, um, I don't know, being around people. Um, I'm always I'm always, a I'm really, really active now, and I was shy before. Yeah. So that's that's what it is. Um, and I already know because you mentioned the LA event. How many conferences total have you been to? I know this isn't your first. <laughs> no, this is uh, uh, LA and I'm in here. So, so this is your third, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, what did you like about attending the conferences? Oh, it's so uh, you meet so many nice people, and it's. You get so much information, yeah. it's like your head is a sponge. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you wish you had a tape recorder in it so that you could play yeah. it back when you get home. But but uh, everything is wonderful. The one in LA, was that the one at the um, Japanese Gardens Hotel? Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. I was there too. I was Were Dorothy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, for someone who may be scared to attend their first event, what type of advice might you give them? Oh, come. Come, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fun. It is a lot of fun, and and I'm a two-time winner. I know she wins prizes. She's a repeat <laughs> costume repeat. winner. What was yep. what, what what title did you win out there? I wasn't out there. I won the hula, the, 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 hula. the not the hula the hoop, the freeze the, dance or attire. 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 Yeah, that's nice. What it was. Yeah. Very the good. Attire. Well, and, that's uh, it. Thank you oh, so much. You're welcome.